You know what's scarier than hackers breaking into systems with sophisticated code? They don't have to. Sometimes they just use Google. Yeah, that Google. Google dorking, also known as Google hacking, sounds like a weird dance move, but it's actually a technique used by hackers to find things online that were never meant to be public. Things like password lists, admin login panels, security camera feeds, and even entire databases. And all of it found using regular Google searches. Let me show you a few that hackers love. In title, finds pages with specific words in the title. Example, in title, index of, often reveals open file directories. In URL, searches URLs, like inner LL, admin login to find admin panels. File type, finds specific file types, want exposed PDFs, try fill a type, PDF confidential. Site, limits search to a specific website. Site, example.com password. Yeah, that's a real thing people do. It's like being a digital detective, except instead of a magnifying glass, you've got Google and no moral compass. Let's clear something up. Using Google to search isn't illegal, but using what you find to break into systems, that's where it crosses into criminal territory. Here's the thing. Google only finds what's already public. If something is visible to Google, it's because someone put it there, even if by accident. Google was built to organize the world's information, but it doesn't judge what should be public. It just shows what it sees. If this blew your mind, wait till you see how hackers gather intelligence without writing a single line of code. Hit subscribe, because OSINT is coming up next.